cool of the day For the place in my memory Where you wash my sins away And for your precious Holy Spirit I feel down in my soul
I'm down in the valley Can't see the light of day I look to Jesus For he is the way He said, child, don't be discouraged And don't be afraid For oh, I am with you said in Moses, he said, tell the I am that I am has sent you. Yeah. And let's think about who that he was. He said in all the, in the scriptures in the New Testament, he said, I am the good shepherd. Y'all help me out. I am the lily of the valley. The Song of Solomon, he said that. I am the bread that cometh down from heaven. I'm the water. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I believe that song's right. I am the one. I am the one. I'm glad that I know the one. Share and testify. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for what you claimed. Oh, yeah. You know, you were preaching this morning, and I remember when I met my old job for retired, one of the women I work with, I thought she was about to marry her. She went to some of the inmates and said, and she thinks her sin was going to her in heaven. She's not something her to think about. So as soon as one of them told me, I knew when more than one told me that he had been saved. So I got enough group to go with me and I took the another lady did work with her. We went in the office and I told her, I said, no, my singing ain't going to give it back. My dress ain't going to give it back. My hair ain't. I said, something took place right there. <laughs> I said, well, I said, him here, he worked on that side. I went to trade him. <laughs> Amen. I wanted to make it. I got to make it. Yes. I want to take as many as I can. I want to be a life for all of them. Amen. I said, Lord, if each day you will help me to have the bread. I want to be a brighter light. Yeah. And I want to grow. I want to grow. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to pray what I've got in my heart. No way. No way. Amen. I've got more over that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I love church and I love to worship God and I love to be with singing and preaching and all that. But greater than all that is just when I'm all by myself, His presence is with me. I can feel His presence with me. I can feel Him love on me, hug me. Have you ever felt that? Yeah. Well, there's nothing in this world like His presence. You folks, won't y'all, y'all got a song tonight y'all sing? We want you to feel your liberty. Won't y'all come sing? I appreciate them being here tonight. We want you to feel welcome. Come right on up here, buddy. One of the best looking fellas I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> won't y'all feel your liberty tonight? Praise the Lord. You want her to play the piano? Yes, Sister Sarah? Well, I'm glad to be here. Glad to be in service with you. We, I believe, I met your son-in-law this morning. We went to uh, 107 today, and and uh, he preached really good. We're glad to be here. I don't know very many people here. I know a few people, a few cases that. I see that I recognize, but anyhow, we're glad to be here, glad to be in service with you. I'm not much of a singer. I'm up here mainly for moral support, but uh, we're glad to be in service. Glad for what we felt in the service so far today.
It always makes a difference when Jesus passes by. The devil trembles, the enemy flees. When Jesus comes on the scene, he always shines a ray of light. The darkening clouds must fly. It always makes a difference when Jesus passes by. They brought the blind to Jesus' side. Touch me now, I pray. So Jesus led him down out of town and touched his eyes that day. He said, I see men as trees walking. So Jesus touched him once again. And those blinded eyes received their sight when Jesus passed by. passes by the devil trembles the enemy flees when Jesus comes on the scene he always shines a ray of light the darkening clouds must fly it always makes a difference when Jesus passes by They took him to the tomb that day. Lazarus was his name. His loved ones wept, for death had crept into their lives that day. Oh, but someone sent a message, and soon Jesus did reply, and even death It always makes a difference when Jesus passes by. The devil trembles, the enemy flees. When Jesus comes on the scene, he always shines a ray of light. The darkening clouds must fly. They took him to the tomb that day. Lazarus was his name. His loved ones wept, for death had crept into their lives that day. Oh, but someone sent a message, and soon Jesus did reply. And even death. All these songs, we that are saved, we understand them completely, don't we? Amen. All right, before the preacher comes on, you won't you bring your young ones in? They hadn't sung in a few services. Anybody want to testify? Say something for the Lord. Brother Ricky, testify for the Lord. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. Someone else tonight.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God loves the praises of His people. Someone else tonight want to say something for the Lord. Amen, Brother Danny. Praise God. All right. You pray for these little ones. If you ask about my fortune, you will not tell me the whole. Look for the holy and the things I treasure. for preaching tonight. How about you? Looking forward to the word of the Lord and we appreciate Brother Chris and thank God for our friendship and getting to know him through the year. How about testifying then before he comes? Say something for the Lord. Amen. Appreciate his wife being here with us. We want everybody to feel just like you at home in the house of the Lord. Everybody needs to feel welcome, don't they? In the house of God. I hope you don't feel intimidated or feel like anybody's looking down on you. We're just old common hillbillies that love Jesus. Amen. I'm kind of glad it's like that, ain't you? Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm kind of glad it's that way. So you be much in prayer for Brother Chris as he comes to pray. Well, we certainly, uh, I guess that's the word for that. I don't know if it is or not. <clears throat> well, I certainly appreciate the Lord and all that he's uh, done for me and let us come back to uh, his house some more time. And there ain't nowhere else that I'd rather be than in the house of the living God. That's right. And so the Lord, he's certainly been good to you and I. And it's always a privilege to be here at Antioch with um, some of my friends and the Lord's people, and the Lord, He's got people uh, everywhere. everywhere. I mean, God has, and and uh, so the Bible said, uh, old John looked over there and he said, I saw them coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Right. And he said it was as the grain of the sands of the sea. And so that's a big number, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. A number unnumberable. So I can't count it high. Heavy you can't neither, but uh, the Lord's got uh, 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 people that uh, belong to him, and he's got a people that's willing to serve him. And I believe the Bible uh, taught that uh, even uh, as bad as the world's uh, going to get before he comes, I believe the Bible teaches us that he would find faith. And so no matter how bad that it gets, there'll be somebody loving the old story and there'll be somebody telling the old story. And so I don't know when he comes. He comes 30 years from now and I'm still living.
give him I'm an old man I'll be a looking for him to come yeah. and if he comes five minutes from now I'll be a looking for him to come nevertheless we're going to look for him to come because the Bible said that he that shall come will come, will come and will not tarry Amen. and so you pray for me tonight that God would help me and I'll do the very best that I can uh, do to maybe say a few words from the Lord, from the word of the Lord, and if the Lord don't come, I'll read this, set back down, Brother Jason or his other brother and preach. And so, but in 1 Kings chapter number... Uh, chapter number three, very familiar scripture. The Lord, I was sitting uh, reading last night, and I was reading uh, in. I can't remember where it was at, maybe the book of James or uh, somewhere, and it's uh, a few verses of Scripture just can't, kept coming uh, back to my mind and rehearsing in my mind. And so I, I and it just stayed on my mind all day, and so I thought, well, Lord, I'll read it, and that's all I do. It's still the Word of God. And so you pray for me that God would help me just a few minutes, and then I'll get down out of the way. In 1 Kings chapter number 3 and verse number 16, very familiar scripture, the Lord laid on her heart. And I don't know why he laid this on her heart, but I want to do the best I can do. Try to be a help to you here at Antioch. 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse number 16. <clears throat> then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said... Oh, my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thine handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the, other, and the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. Then said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth, and, the, and thy son is dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two and give half to the one and half to the other. Then spake the woman who whose the living child was and what well, now listen to this whose the living child was unto the king, and her bowels yearned upon her son, and she said, O oh my Lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. <coughs> and, the, uh, and all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of 
God was in him to do judgment. Now, I, that's all that I feel like reading tonight. And I, you pray for me. I, just a few minutes and I, then I'll, I, brother, get down and get out of the way. But I, the Bible, I begin to talk about how old Solomon and I believe that I, uh, Solomon was God's man. And I, Solomon, brother Jason, could I, I brother, ask God for anything. And, uh, God would have gave it to him. Uh, the Bible said that uh, if, uh, you can read there that uh, he could have had riches, fame, or, or even how uh, prolonged his life. And, uh, asked for a uh, very long life and God would have gave that to him. Uh, uh, but the Bible said uh, instead of asking for all of that, uh, the Bible said that uh, Solomon Ask for wisdom and how that he may know how brother how how to how to how brother do judgment and discern things and how the Bible said that how there were two women of one house and how brother both of them were harlots and how the Bible and we all know what it says but I just want to preach and I preached on this thought a few years ago but I, I, I it may be the same scripture but be a different message, but I like to preach on if God I would help me just I brother a few minutes tonight I, I like to preach on I, a mother's love I, I, now the Bible says I, I brother that these two women were harlots I, in other words they were whores I, I brother dwelling I, I in one house and the Bible said that I, they both had a child I, and while they slept our brother one rode over and laid on her son and smothered him to death and killed him. And the Bible said that she woke up high in the night and noticed what she had done. So she began to make a plan. And the Bible said that she took that dead son and out of that other harlot and she swapped them babies out. And Hey, she didn't care. I did she? Hey, Amen. I met the other woman. I guess she never realized. I met the other woman would notice. Hey, Amen, brother. But let me tell you something today. It ain't everybody. I met a brother that's called mommy is a mother. Hey, Amen. And I thought about how the Bible talked about the love of God and how great how brother Clyde the love of God is amen and the Bible said not that hide nor death nor any other thing I can separate hey not my brother is talking about the world I separate us from the love of God of which is in of Christ Jesus amen God loved the world and the Bible said for God so loved by the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him I should not perish but have everlasting life and brother the only thing that I can ever find that would relate to the love of God would be the love of a mother. That's right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. A mother. I, I remember I had walls growing up. And I am not just my mama. Uh, but I saw other women that had kids. My uh, brother, that were uh, true mothers. Uh, they wouldn't like this one mother being a type of the world. A, a false woman. Or a false mother. Uh, ain't that right? Uh, and some of them old faded mothers uh, uh, that I've met in my life. Uh, I stood out to me. Uh, amen. And I've talked to 
talk about Jehovah, my mother there, even though she was a harlot, my brother, she loved her baby. Ain't that in a few habits tonight? And I ain't saying the church is a harlot, but I'd like to preach on how the church being a type of one of these women and the world being the other one. Ain't that right? How the world, brother, how she's a trying her best. How to pull them out to her. Hey man, ain't that right? How sin tells you how that she loves you. Oh Babylon, how decked herself with precious stones and goodly pearls. How trying her best. How to drag you out in sin. And trying to tell you how that she loves you. Oh yeah. How does she don't love you? Ain't that right? How a face of mother. Glory to God. How that loves you today. And she is the bride of Christ. How the church of the living God. How the Bible said in Revelation chapter number 12. How that there was a woman. I've been with child. How which was the church. And that child, how that she brought forth into the world, I was Christ. And the Bible said, how that the old dragon, how he slowed, how to slay that man child. Amen. Ain't that right? And he saw, how that he couldn't do that. I so he saw, how to lay hold on the woman. That's right. Ain't that right? Ain't trying to stop it. That's right. Trying to stop that woman. Right. Amen. And that's how the world is so the woman's are doing. How she's trying to stop. How the church of the living God. Ain't that right? Amen. Trying. How to get our people out yonder. I'm trying. How to pull our young kids out in the world. I'll show them the dainty things of the world. Ain't that right? How would you care me today? I remember. Oh, when I was a young man, I've grown up, and I've heard old brother Clyde. I talk about and I was rough just like you, Clyde. I've ain't many things that I ain't never done in life, and I'm ashamed of that. I believe they make a point. I mean, I've been a bean. I was a mean little boy. I've grown up. I'd kick old people. I'd spit in people's face. I'd pull their hair. I'd beat the windows out of their cars at night. Hey, I've set their barns on fire. Amen. I've caught them gone. And I've took ball bats and beat the windows out of all their house. Amen. And I've run the roads all day and all night. And I've stayed gone about three or four days. And a week at a time. Oh, but I remember oh, pulling in the driveway oh, down in the oh, wee hours of the night. Amen. And I could see a little lampshade on. And I'd see a curtain oh, pull back. And it was my old mother oh, standing oh, by the window oh, looking out. Oh, long and I wonder how when her boy is going to come home. Glory to hell, I'm starting to feel pretty good. Amen. I wonder where I tried. I wonder if I was laying in a ditch dead. Amen, brother. Hey, but one night on my knees, hey, on March the 20th, 2005, oh mother, I was a standing at the window, I'm looking around, glory to God, I'm talking about the church, amen, and I made my way down to the house 
house of God. Amen. And I found myself on an altar of repentance. Amen, preacher. (laughs) Yes, thank you, Lord. Happy Lord. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, brother. Hello, mother. She prayed and agonized with God day after day. And Jason, the more she prayed, the worse her I got. Amen, I did. How the more she prayed, how the meaner I got. And the more foul mouth to God. Amen, brother. And the more she prayed, how the wickeder I got, God. Amen, brother. Amen. How but one night on my knees. Amen, oh, brother. Hey, that's what we're doing here tonight at Antioch. I was sitting by the window looking out. I'm wondering about them backsliders that's forsook the house of God. I wonder about them old drunks. I wonder when they going to come in. Amen, the Bible said. Amen, without a vision. Our people urge. What's that mean? Us having a vision. Of them back doors. Glory to God. Of them back doors coming open. And seeing your kindred. I come down here. And lay the pill bottles down. And the lacquer bottles. And get the word. Right with God. Almighty. Oh, yes. That's right, brother. That's the vision he was talking about. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And our vision is it going down? The lights are getting down, man. It is. It is. Amen. It just about seems like to me, Brother Paul. Amen. Ain't many cares no more. That right. Seems like to me. Ain't many lights are burning in the midnight oil no more. Amen. Let me tell you. And that false mother. And she's out there trying to drag them down. How about the old real mother? Amen. The church of the living God. But she's still got that fire burning. And she's still got the lights on. And the lamp on. And the curtain pulled back. The wandering. And a long gang. Oh, when them boys is coming in. The wandering. Oh, when them gals are coming in. Glory to God. Hey, hey, man, brother. I'm going to tell you right now. How the only thing you'll ever get them in is by is God Almighty. That's the only hope we got. The love of God. And now drunk knows he's sorry. Yeah. You ain't got to tell him he's sorry. Yeah. Every morning. He knows he's going to hell. Is that right? Sure he does. Yeah. A whore and a whoremonger know they're going to hell. Amen. Right. You ain't got to tell him how trashy they are. Amen. But let them know the curtain's pulled back. Amen. Tell them about the love of God. Hey, that's the only thing that won me, brother. How they could have told me how sorry I was. I know how sorry I was. I would thank God, brother. If somebody told me about the love of God. Amen. Or somebody started singing that old song. I fought for the blood. And I got to thinking about it. What it could do. I could roll my burdens away. And I went down. 
a brother of sinner, and I got up a born again child of God. Amen, Chris. Praise the Lord. <coughs> yes, thank you. Amen. Right. Right. Really, walk. <laughs> So, Bless you, God. for God so loved the world yeah. that He gave, He gave Amen. His only begotten yeah. Son of God. Is that right? And gave Him. Yeah. The Word was made flesh. And the, fle and the Word was made flesh. Yeah. Dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory. Yeah. As of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. God loved us so much. That He sent His Son down here. Yeah. Amen. Though we, He knowed that we would hate Him. Yeah. Ain't that right? Right. Though he know that 99% of the world would never want him. Amen. God still sent him. Ain't that right? And he laid his life down. They didn't take it from him. But the Bible said he gave his life. Amen, brother. Oh, what love. No wonder I I believe that old songwriter knew who the Lord was. When he wrote the old song, The Love of God. Ain't that right? Amen, brother. That love of God. It reached way below the bottom. Amen. And a mother loves her sure. child. Amen. She prayed. That right? Bless you, Lord. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Bird Jason told me this, but it's been long. Probably 15, seven, probably seven, around 16, 17 years ago. I can't remember who it was, but I remember him telling me. I never did forget it. I'm talking about an old farmer. Hey, had a big old farm, had horses and cattle and, you know, chickens, goats, and, and uh, said that old farmer had a fire in the middle of the night, and that old barn burnt and was burnt everything down. A lot of his animals he had in there, some of his milk cattle, they died, and pigs and chickens. Said that old farmer, was out. I, I can't remember who told me this, but I thought it was awful good and it stuck with me. Yeah. And uh, said that old farmer's out there looking through the ashes the next day, just walking through her, and there said an old hen burnt to a crisp. And that old farmer took his foot and kicked that old hen over and out rode four or five little doodles. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That our God is. That's our God. That our God done you and I. Ain't that how the church is? Oh, yeah. She loves. That's right. You tell me what mother in here. Hey, man, there's a car coming down the road and her baby was out there in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. You tell me what mother wouldn't jump out in front of that car and push her baby out of the way and then take her own life. Sure. Somebody said, I wouldn't. You ain't the mother. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, there's a lot of faults out there. I bet there's one mother. Hey, man, she'll lay. She'll die for her child. Hey, take right. You see, a daddy ain't like a mama. Hey, man, my kids can get sick. I don't hardly worry about nothing. I can't help it. That's just the way I am. I don't worry about much. I can go to sleep in the middle of a tornado. I could care less. If it's going to get me, it's going to get me. But not a mother. Hey, and I worry. You don't get me wrong. I worry some. But not like my wife. Them kids can get sick. She'll come and I reckon they'll be all right. I'll say, they'll be all right. They've got a cold. They'll be, I don't know. Or she'll go back and forth. Walking the walking. A doctor and them kids. And every once in a while, she'll crack that door open. And look in at them. I 
get to watching her. And a while she's going to her, lay her hand on her cheek, put her head, and feel her chest to make sure they're still. But I should leave them alone. They'll be all right. But hey, it's the instinct of a mama. That's how they are. That's how God is toward you and I. He loves us. Even though sinner, yeah. God loves you. Amen. Amen. Because if it wasn't for the Spirit of God in me today, I'd be right back out in the world. That's the only thing that keeps me out of the world is what God put in me. You ever meet them people? Yeah. You see them, you, 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 hey, you, you can tell the way people are. Walk by, you can kind of snarl or nose at you. Hey, Amen. There they'll see an old hobo or old drunk or old pill head. Or a homeless man kind of puts you in the mind of them. Where the Bible talks about that old man laying down there on the side of the road. Here come that Levite and the publican. But here come the good Samaritan. Same thing you and I, the way we are. See them old homeless people down there where I live sitting along out down by the gas station or out there around Walgreens. You walk by them. And as you walk by them, you get over a little further. And you think, what in the world is that sorry thing to do? Amen. And you, you see them all the time. I doing them like that. But I'm going to tell you right now, that's who I was. Amen. I was in that shape. I was in that condition. But one night on my knees, God Almighty loved me and had compassion on me, Jason. Though I was a sinner, though I was a fornicator, though I was a pill popper and a drunk. God love me. Amen. That's right. And the world is the type of that other woman. That's right, Richard. The Bible said that the world loves its own. And that, that false mother, she's a pulling right now. Oh yeah. Won't you do it? That's right. Won't you do it? You ain't got to go meeting tonight. You ain't got to go Wednesday night. Oh, you worked all week and it's early this morning. Come on, Won't you just lay in the bed? Amen. That's that false mother. She don't care nothing about you. She don't care if you ever have a future. Ain't that right? She don't care if a lion devours you out in the middle of a desert. But that other mother, she's the same. Well, you need to go to meeting. That's right. You need to go hear a preaching. Faith come be hearing. And hearing by the word of God. How can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach except he be sinned? Ain't that how you build your faith here in the man of God? Ain't that why people's weak? They got that once to a year religion. Ain't got no faith in God. That's why every time you see them, they're down. Ain't got no faith. They don't ever come to the house of God. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by us, you got to surround yourself with this right here. Yeah. Amen. That's what builds our faith. Is that right? Sure. Amen. That's what old God old that's what God old Paul in my chunder. Paul had faith said boys yeah. except you abide on the ship you won't be saved. Abide right. on the ship. That other woman's out there trying to pull us. Yeah. And Lord, have mercy. I've seen them go down, go down. Oh, yeah. And I ain't saying I'm a, hey, I ain't a bit better than they are. But you got to surround yourself with the Word of God. Right. Amen. Surround yourself with gold flashing singing. Surround yourself with people that love God. Oh, yeah. Amen. More than anything. Amen. Because if you don't, that woman's going to reach for you. Hey, somebody said, ah, oh, she won't get you. But what, that's what David thought too, wasn't it? If he'd have been out trying to the battlefield instead of at the house, hey, man, he probably never would have gotten in trouble. Hey, man, he turned around. Hey, man, and she's out there pulling. And the Bible said she's a meeting man at her coming. Amen. Amen. Get right. Yes, sir. Heavy Lord. I've seen them fail by the wayside. I preached revivals with 
dozens and dozens of preachers that's folded their Bible up, yeah. quit preaching, left their families, shacked up with some woman, quit preaching because they listened to that false mother. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Amen. I'm talking about men that used to have the anointing of God have folded their arms and quit and sat down on God. Yes, sir. While that other mother, while the true mother was still looking out the window, Amen. Watching for you. Waiting and longing. Come on. Sometimes she wrings her hands. That right. Sometimes she wipes the tears. Amen. Yeah, Off her face. Wondering when that old boy, that old sister, is going to come home. Yeah. Get right with God. Amen. Hey, it's reality, folks. Our kids are going to hell. Well, and I ain't being ugly, and I ain't being mean, and I ain't being nasty. While we sit by the wayside and throw cell phones in our children's hands, we might as well admit we throw them to the other woman. Let them be gay. I don't care if you like it or not. It's the truth. Amen. Let them all over TikTok. Amen. Snapchat and all that ungodly stuff. Somebody said, hey, it won't get you. Don't you tell me it won't. It'll drag you away from God Almighty. Amen. Somebody said, I can have it and be all right. You better watch yourself with it. That right, that woman is right there. Ain't that right, content? I ain't saying anything wrong with having it. But we give it to our kids and never check their phones. Never look at what they're looking at. It surprised some of us probably today. If we get our kids' his phones and go through them, see what they got on there. Yeah. You can't blame them. It's in them. They was born with it in them. It's our fault. They're right. We've just pushed them away to the other woman. About like that car coming down the road and that little boy sitting in the middle of the road or a little girl. That's what we've done. Yeah. We've just pushed them out right there Come for on. that woman to go by and snatch them and break their neck. Yeah. Take them down to hell. Okay. They're right. Yeah. But they is a love. Yeah. They is a mother that does care. Amen. They're right. Hey, the church of the living God. She cares. She's a weeping. She gets on her knees. She share it. That's why we're here tonight. Worried about our people. Up and down these hollers. And then these hills. And then these valleys. That's why we're here burning the lamps. Trying to win them to God. Trying to get them to see that other woman. Don't care nothing about them. Amen. That's my heart. I've done the best I can do. If you're here tonight and you don't know God, you can come to know Him. That's right, Is that right? Amen. Amen. We're, we're living in, in the last days, perilous times. We're living in a great falling away. These people that I'd have never thought would have folded their arms up and quit, Jason. They ain't here. They're not at the church down the road or up the road, but they're at home right. following that other woman. You're right. You're right. Amen. Amen. She's a, out there trying to, she's laying snares. The Bible said she's laying snares. Trying to divide. The Bible said he's going to and fro across the land, up and down the earth, seeking whom he may devour. That right? Amen. While the other woman's a weeping and longing for her children to come home. That's the only love I've ever known in my life that could even, and, I, and though it don't compare, that would ever come close to anything like the love of God right. would be the love of an old faded mother. Yes. Is that right? Amen. That's my heart, brother. I appreciate you. Amen, brother Chris. Sir, would you come get us a song? I'm going to ask every head to be bowed if they would, just a minute. And this man of God has preached his heart tonight. He told you almost a photocopy of what we preached this morning about the spirit and the flesh. 
the spiritual side of God. He's pulling for you, trying to